What's up, y'all? Andre here from Learn English Everywhere. I am your English teacher. I have a question for you. What's your favorite TV show? Mine is The Voice. And because of that, I will take you to The Voice USA for you to learn 10 useful idioms that you can start using right now in your everyday speaking to improve your fluency and make you sound like a native speaker. And I know your objective is to become a fluent English speaker. So please, if you are new, hit that like and subscribe button right now and let's do it. Can't go with Singing a Whitney song, I was like, this is going to be interesting. I want to see if he steps up to the play. And yeah, our idiom number one is step up to the plate. This idiom is mostly used in the USA and it means to show readiness to meet a challenge or to do something difficult by increasing effort or improving performance. In a sentence, you can use this expression in this way. If you want this job, you are going to have to step up to the plate. If you want to pass your R speaking test, you have to step up to the plate. <laughs> yes! And I'm just going to say, I have to pick somebody, and it's, it's really hard because you both really rose to the occasion. I mean. So, our second idiom is from Gwen Stefani. She said, You both rose to the occasion. So, this idiom, to rise to the occasion or challenge, means to make the special effort that is required to successfully deal with a difficult situation. Let's take an example. Even though he was nervous, he rose to the occasion and got a band 9 for his IELTS speaking test. I'm so proud of him. Our idiom number three is diamond in the rough. Diamond in the rough. Yeah, this phrase is used to talk about someone or something with great potential or talent but lacking training or polish. This phrase, diamond in the rough, explains the fact that Diamonds found in nature are rough and uneven, so they must be cut and polished to bring out their real or their true beauty. I love the way you speak English. Your pronunciation is pretty much good. But you need to improve your vocabulary. You are a diamond in a rough. This man is pulling out all the stops. Yeah, our idiom number four comes from the singer of I give you all of me. Yeah, and this means to do everything you can to make something successful or to achieve something. So you're ready to do anything for something to work. In a sentence, you can use this expression in this way. They pull out all the stops for the daughter's wedding. Don't tell me down, cause I... Even, I don't think that we have tapped into the song that has like brought the house down yet. Our idiom number five is bring the house down. Yeah, if someone or something brings the house down during a play or show, they make the people watching it laugh or clap very loudly. So to bring the house down simply means to make people or to make the crowd to laugh or clap loudly. In a sentence, I can use this expression in this way. Oh my goodness. The tennis tournament brought the house down. That movie was so interesting. It brought the house down. 
first battle as a coach on The Voice, and I had the pleasure of welling up with pride. And yeah, we learned another agent from Camila. She said, I am welling up with pride. So the idiom is to well up with. This means to become full or overwhelmed by some emotion. So you can well up with anger, tears, pride, joy, and so on. In a sentence, you can use this expression in this way. <sighs> her heart welled up with sadness when he left her for another woman. She is welling up with joy as she had a band seven in her aisle speaking test. I can't sleep peacefully knowing that we have not cracked the code yet. That moment. Yeah, to crack the code. To crack the code. This means to solve a difficult problem or mystery. In a sentence, you can say, I know English is difficult, but you can crack the code if you continue learning and subscribe to Learn English Everywhere. Don't tell me down, cause I'm, down to I'm gonna hop on the Destiny Love Wagon because. <laughs> Yeah, our next idiom is again from Camilla. She said, herb on the wagon. Initially, this idiom is herb on the band wagon. This means to join, follow, or support someone or something when they become popular. It can also mean to do something because it is trending or fashionable. You can use this idiom in different ways. You can say on the bandwagon, get on the bandwagon, jump on the bandwagon, and hop on the bandwagon. It's all the same. Well, everyone play volleyball there, so I think we need to hop on the bandwagon and do the same. Yeah, people have been talking about this new music video from Adele. You know what? Let's jump on the bandwagon and watch it right now. Light up, light up, light up your heart. Yeah, this is our next idiom, light up. This is a phrasal verb and an idiom which means to become excited or animated when you see someone or something. In a sentence, you can say, I'm sure she likes you. She lights up every time she sees you. The leap you had to make to get toe to toe with Justin, and I'll be. Yeah, our last agent of the day is toe to toe. So if you know what it means, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> 